I don't think I'm well. I can go anywhere in the world. Board shorts, whatever, but no, I come here. I think it was one of the prettiest sets I ever had in my life. It was, it was crazy. It started off with snow, and then it was like a, a three hour sunset. It's incredible, so beautiful. It's like a, a water painting the whole time. Yeah, I just, I was tired, but I just couldn't come in. It was just too pretty. I was just tripping it out. Like, thought about coming in on a couple of ways and then just went, ah, go back out. How often are you going to be here? Amazing. Epic. Thanks for the day. Yeah, waves up here in the Arctic Circle, like anywhere else. The only other thing is that you're, you're dealing with um, five mil of, you know, wetsuits, hoods, booties, gloves. Um, you know, one day I ran out and it was snowing, uh, which was pretty, pretty intense and sort of, uh, you know, a little intimidating. But once you get out there and start moving around, you're pretty warm, which is uh, amazing. And, um, you know, we've had some fun waves and also had some tough waves, but, you know, that's, that's what you deal with. And, you know, we're right in the middle of the elements here and, um, you know, there's no easy way around it. Um, yeah, um, the, the shoot itself was, um, it was, it was tricky. Uh, you know, we, we sat up for two nights in a row, um, just waiting for the, the lights to come, uh, being on standby and ready to go. Uh, the first night was sort of, we didn't get the best Northern lights, but, and plus also there wasn't really any waves. Um, so it was just, we sort of didn't really do anything that night. And then the second night we had waves, but they were slow. Uh, the lights came at midnight. Um, so, you know, you could imagine half asleep, jumping in a wetsuit and then running out and then just being wowed by all this, all this stuff. Um, and, but then again, once I got out there, it was tricky again. It was, it was hard to see. Um, you know, we had the moonlight um, but then the boys needed me to, to wear a light so they could see where I was and, and focus on that with the camera. Um, and every time I looked into it, it just took my vision away and I couldn't see the wave. Um, so that, that was really tricky, but um, the experience as a whole was, was amazing. You know, it's, it's something that I remember forever and it's something that I'll... Uh, yeah, just count myself lucky that I had the opportunity to do so. You know, it, it probably was one of the hardest shoots I've ever done. You know, I, I still feel like we could do more. Um, but yeah, you have to, you know, you have to have waves. You have to have the northern lights. You have to have clear skies. Uh, so all those elements coming together, um, it's it's hard to tick every box. Um, so, you know, within a, within a week or so, we we got one really good night and um but then yeah just trying to figure out the best way to actually be able to see and surf and then also the photographers on the beach being able to see me and and take the photo was just it was there was a whole lot of elements and it was definitely tricky but um yeah it was an experience